say champion mentality. Champion. Okay, say I am a champion. And I look to your teammate and say, girl, you know I'm a champion. Turn around, you're gonna say it. Yeah, Danny. Say it. <laughs> yeah, okay. And the reason why I want you to say that right now, champion, being a champion doesn't start of just, you know, like literally just because you got a ring and you won a championship. It starts right now. You are a champion right now. You know how your teachers will always say, you know, it's harder to keep an A than to get an A, right? Well, right now, it's all about you just keeping the champion mentality inside. Keeping that understanding that you are a champion and no one can take that away from you. And so there was times when I started my career as an athlete, very young, started playing ball very young, how I started to realize that and I didn't let anyone take that away from me. That's why I ended up getting two, not one, say two. Two. Two championships, okay? As a pro athlete. Thank you, yes, thank you. Okay, and it was, I, I did do some time in high school where I did go to state championships, but boy, a championship when you're a pro ain't nothing compared to that, okay? Because it's the blood, sweat, and tears, hard work, I can't even explain. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about my process as an athlete and how you, there's three keys and tips that I want you to remember so you guys can always remember this is how you stay thinking as a champion, okay? Say, I am a champion. <laughs> We're gonna say it all day, so say it again. I am a champion! I'm a champion! Okay, this is how you're gonna start talking and thinking about yourself and knowing who you are. So I started playing ball with my brother, you know, my, you know, I was like nine playing, you know, with my friends and stuff, but really it was my brother that had me get into that next level. But the way he did it was let me go play with him with these greasy old men, girl. I'm trying to tell you, all smelly and so happy. So always remember, tip one, always remember, always have a good relationship. Don't break your bridges with people, okay? So that's the first tip. Always have good relationships, be respectful to your coaches, be respectful to your teammates, and that's going to take you further than your skill or what you think you deserve. Because boy, you don't, you don't keep any better, and you're going to always think you deserve something. You're going to feel like you deserve it because you worked hard, you do deserve it. You do. But it's not going to take you further about your behavior and how hard you work in that as well. And probably will go further. I can tell you now to this day, I ain't got no skills anymore. My body hurts. Okay, I get out there, I'm gonna fly all the way to the court. Don't get twisted, I'm in the way from every day. But I'm just saying though, you know, do you think that's gonna get me as far as what I, what my behavior is now? Okay, your behavior is gonna take you further in your good relationship. Okay, so say I am a champion. Okay, so that's the first tip that is to be a champion, okay? And then secondly, second tip that I'm gonna give you guys, and I need you guys to really take this, this in always going to have to stay humble, okay? Always stay humble. Always have a good attitude in situations that, you know, you don't even know somebody is watching. I, I can tell you a story, and my mom's probably going to laugh at it because I'm going to tell, I can tell the story about my brother, how how people around you will quickly get you to get up from your low, humble place. I'm a believer. I have a relationship with God. That's my relationship, and I pray a lot. Okay, I pray a lot. And in that, in that time though, that keeps me low. That makes me understand that I'm not better than what, you know, what the world and everything else says. Well, my brother, you know, had, he was really young. He had a lot of haters around him when he made the varsity team only as a freshman or a sophomore and no one else. I remember no when the, uh, the reporter was like, cocky if not confident. I'm like, hold up, am I cocky? So I was like, maybe I need to stay. I need to get a little more humble about my game. I need to start to think about, you know, who really gave me this gift and, and be thankful for the times my mom, let, you know, paid for those times when I went to AU and, and did all the hard. I need to stay humble. Don't forget who brought you there, who helped you to get there. Stay humble, okay? So first tip was, what was the first one? Huh? I know. It. Good relationships, right? Keep good relationships, right? Keep good relationships and never break your bridges. Second tip is, Oh, is this a team or are we a hug, hug? Stay humble. Okay, I was like, man, is this a team? Y'all need to y'all to say team on one court. So stay humble, right? So that's the, that's the second tip. So, um, and then the last one, okay? So last tip that I'm going to give you guys. And this is a wonderful story because this story will remind you always how important it is to have the right people around as well. 
Now, you can't go anywhere, anywhere in this world without someone there to help you carry you. There is no I in team. You need a team. As you see, I brought a team here as well, right? I brought, this is my team, even my little emotions here. They're my team though, you know what I'm saying? But you need a team, because they're gonna carry when you feel low, and when you should, if you feel like you don't need, you know, you're not doing well, and they're, they're